Hyper two time ordinary level. <clears throat> Parts of the line AC and BC are shown in the coordinate diagram below. Find the slope of AC. AC is rise over run. 3 over 2. AC, rise over run. By using slopes, the best gap is perpendicular. Okay, the slope of this one here. So if you call that one M1, the slope of the second line is negative 3 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 5. And to check if they're perpendicular, you have to check what happens when you multiply them, if you get minus 1 or not. And um, that does not equal minus 1, so they're not perpendicular. Yeah. If it was a perpendicular, it should be like go out two and go up three, and then it should be go out three and down two, and it, it's not quite two, so you can kind of tell it's not perpendicular. Okay, um, yeah, I think that one's okay. So start the exam, find the slope of AC, three over two, yeah. And then the slope of the other one would be minus 3 over 5. And you multiply them, you definitely don't get minus 1. Yeah, okay. Uh, we've got a triangle here. It's symmetric about the y-axis. So it means this point here would be minus 9, 1. Find the length of L to N. So that's 18 units long, 9 and 9. Write down the equation of the horizontal line, Ln. So that's the height y is always equal to 1. The line nm has this equation. Use this equation to find the coordinates of point n. So that's where it crosses the y-axis. So that you just make x equal to 0. And you get 4y minus 13 equals 0. So y is 13 over 4. And that's the first question done.